What it do, homies? We're back here with some more DA games. This time we are checking out the song Bloody Ether uh, from the Goliath Thrum album. album. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Distortion on that guitar is sound like it's talking. I like that. It's like a, it, it almost kind of sounds like it's a mix of like wah the way that it's kind of going rah, rah, rah. man the things you can do on a guitar is amazing little creative effects and stuff like Linkin Park Says healing. You know, you know, Will has a very interesting way of fitting so many words into a song, not all of his songs, but especially with this one to like really, really get the point across, because sometimes you can be a little bit more wordy. Um, but I think the really difficult thing is making it melodic, like making sure it still kind of fits within the song. That's definitely one of Will's like strong points when it comes to his songwriting. A little, uh, uh, thrash a little bit there. Yeah. Like right here, right? And I think a lot of it is a lot of the reason why I think that is mostly because of that the lyrics are just all like right here. But if I was listening to it, I would think something different. But it's interesting, right? Because the ending of this right here begins the next verse. There's a technical word for that, that type of technique. Because you know, especially when it comes to like rhyme schemes, because they don't just exist in rap, it's songwriting in general, kind of like AABA, you know, internal rhymes. Although singing has internal rhymes as well. Um, but I don't know what the technical term for it is when you when it's a run on a sentence, but like the next half of the sentence is the beginning of the next verse. That's interesting. Silence the mold on the wall, right? So something that's aged, right? It's thinking, but you're still listening to it because you ain't, you know, this almost kind of reminds me of uh, insurance. I was paying a whole bunch of mo um, a bunch of money for Progressive one time. And then one, and then I got my renter's insurance through State Farm. And when I was there, they was like, who's paying for your car? And I was like, damn, I'm paying Progressive. They charged me like two fifty or something. They're like, man, we can do way better and everything. Progressive was that mold on the wall, right? And then State Farm brought me back to reality because I was older. I wasn't in college. I didn't have any speeding tickets or anything. So why was I paying so much? 
you brought me back to reality. So that's how, that's what I think about that. When he, that's what I think about when he says silence the mold on the wall from now on, bro. Progressive insurance. You did me dirty. I'm never coming back. <laughs> the connection and feel the compression like you know when i hear that i think of like you know as technology advances things become a lot more convenient for us right so you know it almost is like unlimited power i feel as though that we thrive better with limited options right so like in the real world right you're not super you know most of us right aren't super rich right we can't do anything that we want so you know reality tends to be a suppression uh but once we're plugged in we could be anybody that we want to be uh but that can lead to uh uh false beliefs or what's, what's the word i'm looking for uh uh distraction from from oneself i don't know i'm looking for a specific word but you you get the meaning i was wondering who was doing those those high-pitched voices that sounded like somebody completely different but nope it's will <laughs> anyways see you in this video dave's out